Are you thinking of making the move to Seattle? Every week we get questions from folks who are ready to make Seattle their new home. Well, today I'm here to help you all soon to be Seattleites know what you can expect to pay for a home in various neighborhoods in the city and how to find the right home. And lucky for you, I'm at this schwanked up contemporary home in one of Seattle's most desirable neighborhoods, Wedgwood. I'm excited to show you why this home is exactly what folks who are moving to Seattle are looking for. By the way, if you're new here to this channel, I mean, we'd be super jazzed if you would like this video and subscribe. Over the coming months, we'll be creating lots of content about Seattle and its different neighborhoods. Next, if you're also new to Seattle, then you really need to check out our blog, Team Diva's Guide to Relocating to Seattle. In the guide, we have tons of tips and tricks on how to settle into the Pacific Northwest. And no, it does not involve having to wear socks with your Tevas, but yes, it may involve learning how to like gooey duck. Okay, unless you're moving here from California or New York City, you should expect to pay a significant amount for housing, whether you're buying or renting. Seattle was recently named in the top 10 most expensive cities in the country, and eight of the other cities were in California. The price for a detached single family home in Seattle is hovering right around a million dollars. For a townhouse, the average price is probably gonna be about $800,000. And condos, well, they've been rebounding all year as more people move back into the city. Average prices right now are about $600,000. Seattle's rental market is just as high. If you wanted to rent a one bedroom apartment in downtown Seattle, you're probably looking around $3,500 for a month for rent. If you're looking to rent a two bedroom plus home or a townhouse in Seattle, you'll probably be paying anywhere from $3,500 to upwards of $6,000 a month. Over the last few months, we at Team Diva have done a series of videos about what you can buy in different neighborhoods around the city. Today, I'm in Wedgwood. In this neighborhood, the average price for a detached single family home is about 1.3 million. In West Seattle, the average price for a detached single family home is closer to 925. Check out all these great videos so you can get an idea of the different styles of home and the various different prices around the city. Want more information about all these great neighborhoods? Guess what? You can hop on to teamdivarealestate.com where we've profiled 70 different neighborhoods in and around Seattle. And if you can't find info for the neighborhood you're most interested in, we're only an email away. When folks contact us about wanting to make the move to Seattle, they almost always have some basic criteria already in mind for what they want in a home. They usually want at least three to four bedrooms. Most folks want a home that's move-in ready since material costs are high and labor is scarce. They almost always want a yard. I mean, we love dogs, so it seems that most of the folks that are attracted to us also love their pets and really want a yard for their pooch to play in. They want to be in a good school district. And what do we mean by that? Basically, that means a six plus rating from greatschools.org. And they want to be in one of Seattle's urban walkable neighborhoods or be as close to a walkable area as possible. This home in Wedgwood pretty much hits all of these marks. This two story home is a perfect four bedroom house, including three bedrooms and a bathroom downstairs and a really spacious owner suite with a completely updated and pretty swanky bath. Then there's a stunningly remodeled kitchen, which is really a central gathering spot for this home. This kitchen has an incredible amount of storage space and it even has two sinks and two dishwashers. I mean, two dishwashers. This kitchen is always ready for a party, apparently. Other than having a completely remodeled kitchen and a swanky new owner suite bathroom, this home also has been newly painted throughout. It has fresh new carpeting and the backyard has been completely landscaped. Our sellers refer to this redone yard as their backyard park. And when you step out here, you'll really get a sense of why they call it that. There is just enough space, but not too much, for furry and non-furry family members and friends to have tons of fun. Oh, and let's not forget to talk about this incredibly cool deck. So great for afternoon lounging. Last but not least, this home is right in the heart of Wedgwood, a location with top-rated schools, tree-lined walkable streets, 
and easy access to shopping, coffee houses, and dining. It's also just minutes to U Village or downtown Seattle. So whether you're relocating to Seattle or just looking for a new home, this contemporary two-story in Wedgwood could be the perfect place for you. For more information about this wonderful Wedgwood home, check out the show notes and go to teamdivarealestate.com to check out the full listing. This is Kim Colapretti with Team Diva at Call Banker Bain saying ciao for now. Thank you.